Hello and welcome to CIA. My name is Mayank and in this video I will show you how you can integrate MoTeC with Google Sites. As you can see already I am in Google Sites. So I am going to use one of the templates to create a demo page and then demonstrate how you can actually embed MoTeC tracking script and any form that you want on your page. Okay, so let's go and create uh, one of the page. I will use this one project. So now you can see that we are here. I will go to the pages and remove rest of the pages because I want to create it something like you know landing page. And let's call it Okay, I will just remove everything else on the page and uh, keep it very minimal for the demonstration only. Everything else is gone as you can see. So now what we need to do is I will go to the insert and here use the embed part because you will notice that there is no other way to put the code in this page. So the embed is the only way click on the embed now there are two ways here by uh, using URL or embed code but Motic does not provide directly uh, the URL for the embed part so let's go to the embed code and uh, what we need to do is we need to copy the tracking script from Motic so uh, going back to Motic configuration go to tracking settings copy the tracking script and paste it here so now that tracking script is uh, placed if I just embed this one it will still be shown like uh, you know like this so it will take a lot take up a lot of space so why not use this space and uh, utilize it for adding the form as well I will click on edit and in the same box I will copy the form so let's go to the forms and I will use the newsletter sign up in the automatic copy the JavaScript go to the form and paste it here next you will notice that uh, there is no preview here I will tell you why uh, let's for now just let's save it and publish this page so let's call this uh, CIA demo and I will publish okay so let's copy the URL I have copied this link I'm opening this in private window just to show you what is happening here so it is asking me for uh, sign in but we don't want that what we want is anyone in the public should be able to access this page so let's go back and click on this one to, uh, on the share part and in the link click on change and make this site public so now anyone can access this site done publish again now again I'm copying the link going to the private window and checking it out so now as you can see we are able to access this page but you will notice that the form has not appeared and the reason for this is that there is the problem with cross domain access to resolve this issue what you need to do is you need to go back to the Motec in the Motic, go to the configurations. In the configuration, you will find this option called CORS settings. So here, um, ideally what we do is, if there is a WordPress website or some other website, what we do is we place the URL of the site. So ideally what should have happened is, we should place https colon double slash sites.google.com. But this does not work. Let me show you how. So I will save it. Okay, going to the same and the form has still not appeared if I go to the console you will see the same problem is there the reason for this is the system is actually trying to allow the request from sites.google.com if I go here in the network tab and reload this page So you will notice that the request has been made to motic.mangtiwari.in but if I go in little bit more details the originator of this request was not sites.google.com but some 
randomly generated URL which is being used by Google internally. So because these domains are not matching, the system will not allow the form to appear or the page view to be tracked. So the simple solution is you have to put this to restrict is equal to no, then save it. Let's go to the private window again and try to reload it. And now you will notice that the error is gone. Now you will notice that the form has still not appeared. So this sometimes happen with the Google site that uh, it is restricting some of the scripts to load. So there is an alternative for this problem. What you can do is ideally uh, it should happen that in some times the Google will uh, allow this but to overcome this problem what you can do is you can go to the form again and instead of automatic you can do the manual copy. Just copy the script, go to the form. And instead of script, place this form here and then rest of the code as well. Next, now you see the form has appeared. Save this, publish. It will show you what was uh, there previously and what is there now. Publish. And if I now go back to the website and reload it, now you should be able to see the form. and submit the form. So form has been submitted. Now back in Motic, let's test it out. So I will go to the results. As you can see, the result is there. And uh, this is shown in the UTC terms. If I go here, you will notice that this form was submitted on some very complicated URL, which is not exactly the landing page that we have, but that is because the code which is loaded by Google Sites on the page is under an iframe and this iframe has its own unique URL which is being uh, tracked by Motic for the form submission. So uh, that's it guys. Uh, this is how you can actually track the visitors as well as uh, place the Motic form on Google Sites. So if you find this video helpful, don't forget to click that like button and for more such content, please subscribe the channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching.